a u.s 274.5 million dollar contract was signed for the long-awaited montego bay perimeter road project on november 24 2021 Welcome back to RC Island Girl Jamaican Vlogs. This is the developments in Montego Bay series. You can have a look at the entire playlist at the end of this video, but let's get into it. Now the contract is between the Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation and China Harbor Engineering Company Limited Check, the company that will be in charge of the construction. One of the stipulations of the contract is that the unskilled construction labor force will consist of a minimum of 90% Jamaicans. In addition, 50% of the technical jobs will also be filled by Jamaicans. So that is perfect. Taking it even a bit further, Czech will also partner with HART NSTA to create a training program with the purpose of sharing knowledge and technology to Jamaicans through on-the-job training. The program is referred to as the Knowledge and Technology Transfer Program. The cabinet has since approved the U.S. $274.5 million expenditure for the construction that's slated to start in 2022. Hopefully, this highway will lead to real estate development in areas to the south of Montego Bay. Now, I did further research for you guys after I heard this information. I'm just going to share some information with you. Now, in order to understand how many vehicles would use the Montego Bay Bypass, NROC, which is the National Road Operating and Construction Company, created seven traffic analysis zones. And then basically, they stopped vehicles in these areas and asked drivers where they're coming from and where they are going. They completed approximately 3,700 of these surveys and were able Able to come up with an estimate of how many people would use the bypass before they decided on this current road alignment for the Montego Bay Perimeter Road project, they did have other ideas in mind. Now, according to Ivan Anderson, the managing director of NROC, they actually created 12 sub alignments that is. 12 possible alternate routes for the bypass, one of which included the creation of tunnels. So they did factor that in as well. But after evaluating the different options, they decided on the current road alignment as the best option. Now let's go into the road alignment and where it's going. Now, traveling on Howard Cook Boulevard towards Bogue, the road will go around the sewage pond, then it will go across Bogue Road, past ATL Motors on the right. It will then go through Temple Gallery Road, which will be widened to four lanes. Then after that, it's going to pass Bogue Village, then pass the land where the University of the West Indies Western Campus is supposed to be built. Then it's gonna go across Fairfield Road. At this point, the road will run almost parallel to the Montego Bay River. Then the highway is going to go up the hill and on the left of it you will have Portobello and to the right you will have Irwin. Of course there will be bridges built across the river and a few of the rural roads in this area will also be connected to the highway. Now it goes further up the hill to Cornwall Courts and around the area of Green Pond High School. Then it's going to go down the hill through Salt Spring and then through Ironshore down to the Rosal Main Road. That's where the Montego Bay Bypass will end. Of course, I may go into the Long Hill Bypass in another video. Here's a list of the communities that are in close proximity to the Montego Bay Perimeter Road Project, meaning close proximity to the Montego Bay Bypass, the Long Hill Bypass, Barnett Street, and West Green Avenue, because they will be doing some fixing up of those areas as well. So, number one, Salt Spring, Cornwall Courts, Meadows of Irwin, Portobello, Bogue Village, Granville, Tucker, Catherine Hall, Montego Bay West Village, Bogue Hill or Bogue Heights, Anchovy, Mount Carey, inclusive of York Bush and Mount Carey Village, and then Mount Pelia. Of course, I will continue to update you on the developments in Montego Bay. I will leave a link to that playlist in the description box or in the comments.